Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Pooja Kadam, Assistant Professor from Civil Engineering Department of Vidyavadini's College of Engineering and Technology. Disaster Management and Mitigation Measures is one of the institute level optional course of semester 7 of final year engineering. I will be giving you a brief overview of the importance of the subject. First of all, let us go through the course outcomes of the subject. That means what students will be able to do at the end of the course. Students will be able to understand natural as well as man-made disasters and their possible effects on the economy. Students will be able to understand planning of national importance structures based upon the previous history. Students will be able to understand government policies, acts and various organizational structures associated with emergency. Students will be able to know the simple do's and don'ts in such extreme events and act accordingly. In simple words, a disaster is something bad that happens to people and almost always changes their lives completely. Disasters can destroy homes and many kinds of works. There are different types of natural and man-made disasters as shown in the pictures. Now what is disaster management? Disaster management means that all such measures that should be taken so that hazard cannot take the form of disaster. Now natural hazards are inevitable that is they are bound to occur but we can reduce their harmful effects by proper management in order to minimize the loss of life and asset. You must have heard of the news where vehicles rammed into each other on the Agra Noida Yamuna Expressway in Delhi due to low visibility caused by smog. So smog was a hazard. Due to high pollution levels, Delhi became more vulner vulnerable to the hazard. Accident that happened which led to loss of life and property was a disaster. So when hazards meets vulnerability, disasters are bound to occur. Now there have been changes in the disaster management of India in terms of its approach, authorities and finance. So even these things we will be studying in this subject. This is a brief pictorial view of various disasters that have happened in India. Now talking about the current year, in just 6 months we have faced so many natural disasters and the situation is very dangerous. Now role of engineers in disaster management and mitigation. This subject is not limited to a particular engineering field. Every engineer has a role in disaster management and mitigation. For example, drones and helicopters for easy transportation of food packets are prepared by the electrical technicians. Civil engineer is responsible for the construction of such high earthquake resistant buildings. Mechanical engineers develop motorized gates, ultrasonic level gauges. ROG Setu app that we are using now is developed by software engineers. Now turning disaster into opportunity. Accept your situation for what it is and own the solution to move forward. A person who is self driven, motivated and has a passion to serve humanity, this is the right field for you. Take an example and remember Microsoft and LinkedIn were both founded during the times of economic downturn. Now career prospects, there are good employment opportunities for the government as well as the private, private organizations. You can work as social worker, medical health expert, environmental expert, rehabilitation worker etc. You can also work in NGOs and international organizations. You can even start your own consultancy. To sum up all, the current scenario of COVID-19 pandemic thus makes us realize the importance of studying disaster management and mitigation. Thank you so much.